fight your fears and survive. <laughs> well, this is not like fight your fears or survive. Okay, That'd be a lot. All right. So, welcome. Welcome back to the sea pad. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Check out that butt. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's ni it, it's nice and freeing I? to not have to be the one introing stuff. I didn't have to do it much for Resident Evil 7 either, but yeah, um, I'm so, officially uh, not the one who has to for, for to this. Welcome to Resident Evil 1, the HD remake. Yeah. Remake. Uh, I'm your host, Kano Jaguar. Ah. And that's what it stands for. And that's for. it. And, and, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the only one playing, and I'm the only voice you're hearing right now. I can... And it's Flea! That was Dad. also me. I'm that very good at throwing too. my voice. <laughs> I mean, me too. Also, I am, that was I am me. also the same oh, voice, geez. but I am I am Rock Lobster. <laughs> All right. So we got Felice, <laughs> Canada Jaguar, and Rock Lobster. I like Lobster. the idea that no. everyone has just like an alternate. Uh, there's zombies outside. Wait a minute. Some yeah, other yeah, yeah, there's zombies outside. Persona, oh, no. like... I got to think this through. Okay. Okay. Think it through. Uh, so I... What were you saying? Anything important? Well, I was talking about <laughs> up, up, down, down, and how on that oh, all the wrestlers that. have a different, different persona. Oh, nice! Oh, that's great. Oh, right. But yeah, yeah. like, I, I like the idea of Rock Lobster being your sea pad persona. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> just you know, just go with the flow. Man. Now that's Rock I need Lobster's way. to get to Sesame Street. Can you tell me how to get? The the, I, need to, I need to find the lighter. <laughs> it, my primary objective is to find the fucking lighter because I want to be able to deal Mattress with these Empire. zombies. Because if I know that I can burn their bodies, yeah. I'll be a little now bit you're willing to actually more willing fight to kill them. Yeah. Not all of them because, however, there are sure. limited amounts of oil you can use. Ah, uh, the old oil lighters. I think when you go to fill your canteen, you get three uh, fills out of it, and you yep. can go back to that same... Uh, can you like just re so you can't reload indefinitely? You can reload at that same uh, big uh, faucet or whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, drum. the oil faucet. We're gonna call it a drum. <laughs> you can go back to that drum three okay. times, so giving a total like, of nine. I like oil faucet. I love the idea of someone just having a big sink in their basement, like <laughs> <laughs> just oil if on. If anyone tap. was gonna have it, it would be fucking uh, sure Oswell Spencer. Um, <laughs> Is right. that the architect we're going to meet? No, that's oh. the uh, owner. Uh, Baron Reginald well, We're going to get into that. So, uh, yeah, so nine times, basically, uh. out of each oil drum, and I there's only a few drums. Times. So <laughs> I guess i got to go up to the second floor. That's what it looks like. I'll probably stay on this wing now, because I've got three locked doors, and I do believe I have... You got the sword the key? The sword key yeah. still. Yeah, there we go. And I'm on caution. Now, you can't swap that out for the key that is a trap, right? Like, it has to be a, a similar key? Or can you do there is a like There that? is a trick key. There's I, a trick key? Okay. Yeah, there's got to be one. Um, so I wasn't sure if it was like, do all the keys? It, it might even be two pieces of the key that you have to find and put of together. Of course. Of yeah, course. Of course. Um, so, all right. Do you think Suda51 was enough obsessed with Resident Evil? I have handgun bullets that I don't mind not having Ooh. a survival knife. Suda51 or Suda57? I can never remember which. I don't want to jump the gun on these... Uh, Huh? Jump I was thinking the same giggle, but I didn't giggle it. Right. <laughs> mix herbs. I'm going to carry the mix herbs. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Uh, Suda, Suda 50 whatever is the guy who made Killer 7 and, um, uh, uh, oh my god, the one with Travis Touchdown. I can't remember the name of the game, though. No more heroes. I don't know about, I don't know about this. Uh, whoa, hello. <gasps> Who's no, that? that's how you dodge him. That's yeah. good. You don't need to kill shit in this game. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was a big yelling swing. Wow, wow, way to be. <laughs> now he, uh, Killer 7 is a game where... You play. It's weird Kill because that guy, though. Oh. the 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 gameplay makes you feel kind of immediately sp like seems to spoil stuff that they're pretending isn't immediately spoiled. How you play as thing? seven personalities of of a person. Hmm. I think they were all hmm. originally alive, but they're not anymore. I never, I never, I don't think I actually finished the game because I had a corrupted save file that destroyed my entire GameCube memory card, and I fucking. Never touch the game again. Out what of if anger. the game's super meta and that's that was all part of it? Oh man, I wouldn't. I w you know it could. There is this old man <laughs> in a wheelchair that's really fucking weird and like pervy and shit and like makes creepy ass comments to you if you're if you're a woman personality mm. instead of a man personality. Uh, <laughs> Real life, the video game. <laughs> essentially, you're seven. You're <laughs> right. No kidding. <laughs> Oh God! Oh. The, uh, your your seven hitmen personalities. Oh, I didn't know he was a hitman or yeah. she. Yeah, I don't know. They. 
I think, in fact, the character you are isn't any of the seven personalities shown. Like, you see them eventually, but it's not that person. It's okay. weird. But it's like, it's very, it, it's very... What's this? This paper attached on the inside. Nothing is written on it. Oh. Shoot it. You just got a new sketchbook. Use gun on sketchbook. <laughs> Use gun on sketchbook. Nothing unusual yet. Have you guys ever played um, Deja Vu for the NES? No. No. Old point and click. Oh, hello. Old point and click adventure game. Uh, one of those ones where it's like you have a you have an inventory that's visible and it's like use blank on blank. So so it's like oh use key on and then you point at the door and you can unlock a door. Uh, you can shoot someone by using use gun on blah. There are there is a lot of interest. You can literally tell it use gun on and then there's like a me option because you can eat stuff. You can you mm. can wash your face or whatever mm -hmm. so it's like use gun on self and you and, and game over boom like it's just like oh my okay gosh. game lets that happen got it Ooh, is that, that a is lighter lighter. lighter of lighter <laughs> the lighter of lighter yeah wait a minute though is there a trick is that a trick lighter look at lighter of lighter why oh, and yeah. hudson is since 1985 love jessica Ooh. <laughs> Jessica L. Oh, is that is that Morse code on the bottom? What? On the bottom of it? No, uh, no, not Morse code. What the hell's wrong with me? Braille. That's what I meant. Oh, I was like, that, I don't know how is you're that visualized Morse code. Morse code? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. An open journal. Uh -huh. Take it away, uh, Rock Lobster. Oh, the pages are blank. Never mind. Can you? Can, I was gonna say, can you light the? Can you light? No, no. Put the lighter up to it to reveal. Books hidden on messages. various. Okay, no, now any, oh, there's still more stuff in here. Is that a? Oh, uh, the angle you're at makes the phonograph look like a, a pickupable oh, yeah. thing. The dog whistle. Ooh. Oh, that's are we a weird a shaped dog? dog whistle. I forget what that's for. Dogs. Crumpled memo. What? Because there's the zombie dogs. Duh. Yeah, but I don't know if that's something where no one. Can, I bet you can use like once to stun them or yeah. something essentially. Protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one. Would a be dangerous able to animal. Here. If the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be. Is there like a head of an animal mounted on a wall or something? As far as I can tell, the mud is always. A... Second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And you, you have, have to come, come running uh... at the sound of a dog whistle. Wow! Speak of the devil. So do you have to attract it then kill it? Like. Figure mm. something out. Huh. And around the second floor balcony. Second floor west balcony. Okay. Oh, balcony. Second floor balcony, west side of the terrace. Second so you have to be in the right spot. That's the side of the dining room. Yeah. Okay. On the second floor. Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. Huh. Honestly, I think you have an amazing talent, CJ, because you literally remember where everything is in video games, and it applies to real life as well, because I felt like when we were on vacation <laughs> on all of these roads we didn't know that were very windy <laughs> with no landmarks that we were familiar with, you, like, remembered... The same way that you remember in video games, like oh how to get back to the hotel. <laughs> nice. It was so like it was really Dope. good. They were very windy roads, so it felt more like a video game. Because do you not see the pillar of light that's in the distance that he uses to to track it? Because that's <laughs> it's super easy. All you do is you see the light and you just follow it. Like every person <laughs> under a street light. Yeah, no, I would yeah, a mission for a us. Side quest. <laughs> I would go to the hotel. I would look at Google Maps. I would drop down pins, and then in real life, <laughs> what a red <laughs> pillar of light! Just like, oh, there it is. Anyway, here's a mention of Everyone's Sir Spencer. Just got a different, uh, different. That UI. I was just talking about. Okay. Getting back to the game. Yeah. So, Oswald Spencer wants <clears throat> something hidden inside his collar. So yeah, I yeah. do have to go find his dog. So attract call him, it, him. I feel like I'm watching Men in Black all over again. That's Orion's belt. <laughs> oh God. Oh jeez. Ah! We were talking about the Men galaxy Black is on Orion's recently, belt. Yeah. A certain item you always wanted to get a hold Such of. Such a good movie. Mm. Exchange for your services. Might this be the fake key on the dog's... Interesting. The in the dog's key? collar? In the dog's collar? It might be. Could be More basically anyway. Ammo. Fantastic. All right. Going to be wanting some of that. The game appears to have been ended in a checkmate. checkmate. Ooh. Looking ever? at this HD Is this still gym? something else here? Looking at this HD Jill, I just can't help but think that I was nailed at Jill pretty hard. Oh yeah, no, you did. You did fine. You did great. <laughs> no, I mean like nailed it, like nailed it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, here's their. Bullshit. All the rest it, of us look like off-brand something. This is their bullshit in-game uh, reason for why green herbs heal you. Oh great. <laughs> uh, this book will sample three herbs. The Arkley Mountains. 
The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb wow. neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red results in a magnified effect. That's we will hilarious. outline the effects of red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, uh, feel free to uh, blah, blah, blah. You it blah, sounds blah, like blah. something you'll get to use later on You're in the right. game. Just mix these <laughs> herbs together and it'll fucking do shit to you. Here's and the question. Good. What do green and blue do together? Are they all different color herbs? Uh, we've at least seen green and red so I'm not far. sure if you can mix green and blue. You alone. get blue herbs, though? You can mix all three. Is there more stuff? I don't see anything Is there something glowing. else? I'm just not finding it. Did I say gamophone, not it's gramophone? gramophone. It said gramophone. It looked like it, it said, said. I'm pretty sure I saw gramophone. All right. I thought the R was missing, and I was just like, wait, what? Uh, see, this is one of the more frustrating things about a game like this, where it's like, oh, we'll hide something super fucking tiny in a spot you just basically can't see it. Uh, can you look at like the bottles on the on the desk, or? It, I mean, it for? would be shining. There's so. another item in this room because. Oh no! Now it's oh, green. Oh no! There we go. Oh, you know what? There's the botany book probably did it. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, it's not items. It's like it's just, occurrences. Yeah. yeah. Mm. At least the game, it, like, there's a part of me. There's a part of me that. I, I okay. guess it's not an issue for this game where like it's it's a little bit more like straightforward. But for games where whoa, go, hello, go, go, for go, games go, where you go. might be likely to redo the same areas repeatedly, it'd be kind of cool if it was like. We're highlighting it in this color to tell you that you got everything that is in there right now, but later in the game it might revert back to a different color if now there's new stuff there or something. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, like you've got all the relevant shit. Good job. Right. Because otherwise, you could just be sitting there forever, just like where the fuck is this thing? It's like, oh, you don't have the green key. Well, then yeah. you just can't do this. <laughs> you haven't heard right. the exposition of the g green key yet, so right. Now, does this does this give you like um? Can you take Extra like map? that as a marking of the? Because if it's a, if it's a relief, then you should be able to put that on the. Oh, yeah. You should be able to put your own map. Oh, the book, right? The yep. sketchbook. Yeah, you're right. You can put the sketchbook on the wall and oh, scrub over it. Yeah. Scrub a dub dub. Damn, I don't have a pen. Oh no! Oh, the fireplace heated it yes. up, branding it's it. Yes, it's gonna it. brand it. That's Interesting. Amazing. All right. That is literally not how anything's ever been printed. Like, comment, subscribe. Well, Prove okay, me wrong. Well, now I'm we got sure a map. This is this is fucking great. Look at this. <laughs> That's one large room. Oh, the the big blank area? Whoa, maybe. No. That might be a couple. That, that's probably like four rooms. I bet that's four rooms. The, you're talking the big blank space in the first room, right? Yeah. yeah. Look, oh, yeah. It, I mean, yeah, it must be four rooms. It's just surprising they don't have the... Oh, I think you just got the I second floor. I got the second floor, floor that's yeah, right. Yeah, I think each floor that's is why. probably separate. Okay. Yeah, so, all right. I understand. Um, I'm circling back around, but actually, if anyone that's watching this does actually know about an incident in history where something was branded onto paper, I would be very interested. Now right? I'm just curious. Now I'm just, just curious. I mean, it's that, <laughs> it's got to be made of something else then, because if you try right, to brand it paper, paper, it'll just engulf But that looked like paper on wood. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like vellum or something. Does I assume vellum has a different mm, like helmet. thing. It does, but it, maybe it just, yeah, it would like maybe melt. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Probably, actually, yeah. I don't know. Someone tell us if you know. There's got to be Thanks. some kind of Like, comment, or subscribe below if you know. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't know, well, then like, comment, or subscribe anyway. Yeah, just that works. And then you'll know. Yeah. I wonder if by the Locks, time this comes out, we'll have armor. 10, everything wants an armor key. We're we're in we're right. in the just run real fast now for, for oh, subscribers. No. We're right on the brink. Whoa. Oh, I thought damn. you automatically oh, use that you, shit. Why? What happened? What what means it when you're? Oh. I died. When you die, your camera goes off. No, but what does it mean when uh? Oh I no, love, the jelly. I love that. I the raspberry jam. <laughs> damn it. Oh. So yeah, that's you were dead. I died for for the first time. So I gotta look up how do you use the backup item? Because I thought it was last shoulder time? button, and uh, she didn't do anything. Well, I guess we'll have to come back next time and find out. Next time. <laughs>